Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I created this bridal look for you. If this is the bridal look that you envision, then keep watching as I will show you how to create it. To start, I'm taking the shade Orange Soda and I'm applying this to my crease. This is going to act as my transition shade. And now using the shade Burnt Orange, I'm going to apply more depth to my crease, so I'm just going to blend this right in. Now with a new blending brush, I'm taking the shade Sienna to my crease to build more depth. I'm now applying the shade Rustic to my lids with a packing brush. With the clean blending brush, I'm just going to go ahead and blend the color I applied to my lid into my crease. For my brow bone highlight, I'm using this shade called Glistening. As always, I like to tight line with a black eyeliner pencil. For this look, I'm using cream contour. Here I'm showing you how I mapped it and how I'm going to blend it out with my damp beauty blender.
And now I'm going to conceal and highlight using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And again, going in with my damp beauty blender to blend it all out. And once I'm done blending it out, I'm going to go ahead and set the concealer with the Hourglass Veil Powder. And then I'm going to carve out my contour using the powder as well. And now I'm going to finish up the eyes. I'm using the same shades I applied to my lid and my crease. And I'm applying them to my lower lash line. I like finishing up the eyes once I've set my concealer with powder. So that way if there is any fallout, I can go ahead and dust it off. And now for the inner corner, I'm using the shade Glistening again. And then using the MAC Fix Plus powder, I'm just going to go ahead and dust off the excess translucent powder. I'm now going in with the Hoola Bronzer to contour my nose and my face. And for blush, I'm using this Essence one. I got this in a glam bag a little while ago, and it is so good. And now I'm taking a brown pencil liner to my waterline and then I'm going to show you the lashes I'm going to apply off camera. So for my lips I'm going to use two different lip pencils to achieve the vampy look that I want. So with a darker color you're going to want to take your time and carefully line your lips. If you're not taking your time you could really mess this up.
I'm now applying the lipstick to the center of my lip and then I'm going to take a lip brush and blend it all out. For highlight, I'm using Becca's Champagne Pop, and if you apply too much of this, you can always blend it out with your beauty blender, so don't worry. And as always, I'm going to go ahead and set my makeup with my favorite spray. Now it's time for jewelry. so. If you want to see a detailed tutorial on how to apply Indian jewelry, let me know. Here I'm just going to show you quick little snippets of what to do. I did not know that I was holding the bindi pop upside down. And we're done. That's the final look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the look with and without a nut. If you want to see any more of these, Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much.